Good morning, world. Good morning. All right, so we're doing another one. This one came in on Venmo. Thank you, Leslie Ballard, for sending us a donation. Leslie says, Dave Matthews live at Radio City Music Hall. It's a song called Bartender. However, picture of a bartender as God, the lyrics are deeply powerful. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Thank you, Leslie. All right, stay tuned. I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian, and this is Cedric and Brian. Okay, we're going to try to do this because since it is Dave Matthews, and for those of you who don't know who Dave Matthews is, Dave Matthews Band. in the 90s, yeah, Dave Matthews Band, back in the 90s, I mean, he was one of the biggest bands, obviously has a record label, all that. We're hoping this doesn't get blocked. If it doesn't get blocked, you're watching it right now, but most likely we're not going to be able to monetize, so we would appreciate it, as Leslie did. If you could donate and let us keep doing this channel to either Cash App or Venmo, we appreciate it. No, we don't have any other ways because we had somebody from Ireland or the UK said he doesn't have either of those apps, but I'm sorry. That's all right. Just keep commenting. We appreciate that also. So you ready, Cedric? I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, again, this is called um, Bartender, and it says Dave Matthews and Tim Reynolds. I don't know who Tim Reynolds is. Oh, no. Go ahead. Yell at me. Why does this get caught on my... Oh, there we go. All right. Cedric's having troubles, but I'm that's good. normal. I'm always struggling. All right, so she says to pretend that the bartender is actually God or to imagine this. Yeah, so I guess, you know, how you tell your bartender your woes, mm -hmm. you know, oh, you okay. tell God your woes. So that's what I'm assuming she I means. I don't want to go to God and say, can you make me a seven and seven? You don't? You do that to me. Didn't see that. You, and and you think of me as a God. You have a God complex as a difference. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bartender. Radio City Music Hall. Oh, sorry about the uh, quality there. Didn't look great. Thank you. Thank you. The other guy must be Tim Reynolds. Is that Tim Rose? That was David Spade. Yes. music nerd thing right here that's what i think is going on mm -hmm. i think it kind of sounded almost like a violin coming in in the background the other guy must have a volume pedal and he's bringing that in on his guitar so it's actually a guitar okay that's you know that's my guess maybe i'll be proved wrong here but if this is supposed to be live that's my guess brings it up Could have an Ebo. Family volume pedal.
friend, my dear friend, Tim Reynolds. Oh, 
right. That's something we don't do much. Cedric probably wondered why isn't Brian hitting the pause? No, oh, it's it, it was. Whew. I think uh, we would have done it a disservice by uh, by stopping it. So, and I know that's what people clamor for when we do reactions. Just just let it play. We we're don't gonna, normally do that. We're probably gonna hit this from two different perspectives. I'm I'm the music nerd, and I I have to fully admit, I had patients that I knew that would travel the earth to watch Dave Matthews Band. Mm-hmm. They just he had a following, you know, kind of like Deadheads and stuff like that. Um, and I didn't get it. I never saw him live. This was powerful. Not and not. I mean, there wasn't a lot of lyrics. I'll let you go over the lyrics. Mm-hmm. I could see what um, the person who requested this talked about. Changed uh, bartender to God because God, you know, instead of bartender, God, I'm on my knees and, and all that. But sonically, if you don't have headphones, go listen to this again with headphones. Yeah. Go to this channel, listen with headphones. This is live. This isn't produced. Sorry, I'm a little emotional. <sighs> Weird. I don't know why certain things hit me. That's all right. Um, this is beautiful. Yeah. Go ahead. It is. It's. Um, I'll touch on the lyrics. When you want to jump back in, let me know. Okay. I can uh, hear him saying, uh, saying to the bartender, fill my glass. And I think that's a petition to the bartender, to God, to give me, fill me with your Holy Spirit, give me a good life, my, my, my family, but to just fill my glass. But um, yeah. to take that, um, it talks about, you know, he says, take and drink. And to me, that reminds me of Jesus's last time with his disciples in the upper room before he went up to Golgotha to be uh, crucified. And he told his disciples during that last supper, as he held that uh, the communion, the chalice and said, take this and drink, do it in remembrance of me. And also in the same manner, well, he, he took the bread first and take and eat, do this in remembrance of me. And there, there, there's so much biblical worldview <laughs> the stuff in there. I, I don't want to go through all of it. Then he said mother, too. He, yeah. he talked about that. Yeah, right? and, and he talked about the, the vine, drinking the wine from the vine that hung Judas. Judas, yeah. And if you guys know that story in the Bible, Jesus uh, told Judas, he said before the, I'm not going to say what it says in the Bible because you'll, 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 right? you'll do a childish giggle if I use it. I'll say rooster. Before the rooster uh, crows three times, you will be- betray me. And um, to say that he took the wine from that vine that hung Judas was just, uh, that was just impactful. And then, um, was it the three day? I, I, I can't read my own writing. Um, yeah, the three days, you know, he'd been buried, rose again from the dead. And obviously, as Brian alluded to, on, on bended knee, um, to me, that was the illustration of, of prayer, of coming to God and also saying again, coming to God and saying, fill my glass. I, I can't do this without you. Um, I, I can't drink, I can't live, I can't breathe unless you fill my glass. And it was pretty clever how he did it in a, because we live in a secular world, how he did it. You know, obviously he brought in the biblical references, but he, instead of saying God, he just said bartender. Yeah. And just, uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. But you know how, like you were saying, Brian, like in a, in a secular thing, I know it's old, it's cliche. We see it in movies, we see it in sitcoms. The people who go to the bar and, and bend the bartender's ear. Yeah. You know, it's like like you're 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 praying instead to the bartender. Of, instead of going to your priest or whatever. Yeah, to, it's yeah. like go to the bartender and yeah. and uh, so I think that was clever how he did that. And um, then I'll just hit the musical side too. So I, it was what I thought. So not only is he playing with um, uh, this Tim Reynolds, he's playing with the volume pedal, so it makes mm. it come in sounding more like violins or almost synthesizers. Um, he's also got the the metal on his finger, so he can play play that basically fretless type sound, uh, dobro sound. Um, it was beautiful. And again, if you listen with headphones, it just fills. Yeah. Fills. And yeah. Um, and again, I, I didn't give Dave Matthews the credit back in the day. Not that he needed my credit. He was uber successful. <laughs> I think he made it without you. <laughs> but um, his, uh, as we did with, uh, if you watched our special edition with um, the Anthony. Anthony Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. Or Oliver Anthony. Oliver Anthony. Um, the emotion in in Dave's was, and you don't have to be perfect. And this is what's so nice about live. And people, we've done some stuff live, and people say, oh, you should do the studio version. But mm-hmm. to me, with like Caitlin, what was her name? Caitlin Jennings? Or, or was no. Caitlin something with Jennings? Anyways, right. Waylon Jennings' nephew that we did. Yeah. Her live performance is so raw. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's it hits you differently when things are live because right. you're getting their emotion you don't get that off of something that's been in the studio and um wow thank you thank yeah. who was that again <laughs> that was good again thank you and thank you for doing this 
in a donation. We really appreciate it. Leslie Ballard and, you know, you have Cedric to do it from the biblical side and you just have this nerdy musician guy over here that uh, music, even before he started singing, just him when he was humming and the, the sound came in. I was already losing it. So, yeah. yeah. But anyways, thank you. That's Thank right. you. It's good. I mean, it's the first time Struggle we've done some Jennings and Struggle Jennings and Caitlin, Caitlin and Curtis. Curtis. Ah, good That's job, right. man. You aren't that old. I remember <sighs> that. Yeah, it took t- wait, and, and people seconds. said, oh, you need to do that because you need to do the other version. I'm just like, no, Caitlin, Caitlin Curtis's voice live was just insane. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Uh, thank you for that recommendation. I can't say it enough. Brian says it a lot, but a lot of the stuff we aren't even aware of unless you guys recommend it to us so so thank you for that we appreciate it and let's i just hope that this since we didn't pause it and i just let it go because i was kind of caught up in the moment <laughs> hopefully they don't block this and you're seeing this i hope i will we'll record it again all right you guys make sure you like subscribe ring that bell um make sure that your glasses are always full and make sure you get it refilled uh, until next time not that glass no another glass until next time, I'm Cedric. And I'm Brian. We'll see you later. <laughs> 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 <laughs>